Zelensky just signed a bill in regards to uh, property forfeiture in Ukraine. Uh, but before we get to that, uh, my channel has been getting silenced a little bit, censored a little bit. And uh, yeah, so go to my YouTube. My link is in my uh, channel there. So go to my YouTube, <clears throat> subscribe there. I'm going to be doing some other videos too. Okay, so Zelensky just signed a bill, and essentially what this is, is um, any pro-Russian forces or people or anything like that, all of their property can be signed over to the government by force, right? So is that good? Is that bad? There's a conflict that's been going on for, you know, eight years in Ukraine. Um, now, I'm going to keep on bias to this. I'm going to say a couple things that... Uh, have been getting said. So some sources say that the reason why it's happening is because Ukraine was trying to um, silence the R ethnic Russians, uh, ethnic Russian speaking people in the Ukraine and the Donbass region. Uh, other sources say that uh, Russia wanted that area and they wanted to, and they were using the people there to fight. And that's one of the biggest battles where the Azov battalion was taken a part of. Uh, is it good? Is it bad? Who knows? I mean, the thing is that people who are living there, who are innocent civilians, who wanted to uh, keep with their republic because they voted on it, um, they're going to be affected by this because whatever they own can be signed over to the Ukrainian government. Is that good? Well, that would be just like people in, in uh, Quebec who want to have their rights and to speak French and stuff like that. And let's just say Trudeau going and saying, hey, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. And we're going to take your shit away because of that. Now, that's very a very far stretch, okay? But uh, take a look into the news articles and uh, leave a comment what you think.